Welcome to Orange Coast College. My name is Ed Cervantes and I'm the Outreach Specialist. Before we get started on our tour today, let me tell you a little bit about the history about Orange Coast College. We were established in 1947. And the first time we had classes here was 1948. And I'm excited to show you all the new buildings along with some of the older buildings that we have here at Orange Coast College. So for our first stop today, I want to tell you about Watson Hall. This is where a lot of our student services are located. So if you're a new student or a returning student, you can come to Watson Hall to talk to the Enrollment Center about your application. Maybe you want to go to the fourth floor to talk to financial aid, EOPNS, CARE, Guardian Scholars. There's so many programs that are located within here. On the third floor, if you want to talk to the counselor or the counseling center, that is a place to go as well as the career center. So if you're looking for a career and different areas that careers that you can go into, but that's the third floor that you'd want to go into. The second floor is our transfer center. So most of our students are here because they want to transfer to a university. We have a lot of agreements with the universities, the UCs, the Cal States, in-state and out-of-state. So the second floor is where you'd want to go talk to the transfer center or the transfer opportunity program. And the first floor is where our enrollment center is located. So if you're looking to add classes, drop classes or register, then this is a place that you want to go, Watson Hall. At Orange Coast College, we got four new buildings and we are standing in one of them. This is called the College Center. And there are three floors to our College Center. The bottom floor is a student eating area and the faculty and, and staff dining area. And there's a lot to choose from. On the second floor here are different programs like hospitality, culinary arts, which is one of our major programs at our campus. And on the third floor is our conference center. But I wanted to show you one of our top programs is culinary arts. And within culinary arts, we have a restaurant and our culinary arts students get to run the restaurant called Captain's Table Restaurant. And on Thursdays, there's a lunch service and a dinner service for a minimal fee. And our students get to get hands-on experience along with the faculty chefs, and they get to run a restaurant along with our hospitality program. So if you're at Orange Coast College visiting or you're taking classes, this is the place you'd want to come. So another part of our college center is the administration office. And you can see behind me, this is where Dr. Angelica Suarez is located, as well as other, the other vice presidents of the campus. But right below us too, we also have our bursar's office and our community ed uh, center. So if you're looking to either go pay for classes in the bursar's office, talk to community ed, or come see any of the administrators. This is the part of the College Center you'd want to visit. Welcome to our Student Union, another one of our new buildings. When you walk into the first floor downstairs, you will see the outreach office, and that's where my office is located. Uh, so if you ever need help, I'm more than happy to help you down there. But we also have a game room uh, where our students can just relax and join up with, their other, with other students. But most of this building is made up of the student life, student leadership, student government. We have 60 to 80 clubs where our students can be a part of. And a lot of these rooms you see around me are for that purpose. So if you wanna be part of our vibrant student life, this is a building you wanna to come to. The second floor of our student union also houses our Veterans Resource Center. So if you're a veteran of the armed forces, you have an area to come, hang out with other veterans and get a lot of the services available to you. So please take advantage of our veteran services and come up to our student union on the second floor. The building I'm standing in front of, this is our public safety building. So with being such a large campus and having a lot of students on campus, sometimes students want perhaps a ride to their car late at night, or they just want to get more information with regards with parking or a parking pass. So if you want information about public safety and parking, this is the place you'd want to be. Welcome to the Robert B. Moore Theater. One of the programs that is very bright, vibrant and quite extensive here at Orange Coast College is our theater arts program. And behind us is the Robert B. Moore Theater. It seats close to a thousand spectators. But there's various events, not only that occur with music, drama, and theater, but other campus events also occur in this theater. So if you're interested in theater arts, this is one of the places you'd wanna be. And from here, we're gonna walk over that way 
And this is, we're gonna see a lot of the visual and performing arts area of the, of the campus. And then after that, we're gonna see some of the sciences part of the campus. So come with me and I'll show you the rest of the, the visual and performing arts area. Are you interested in music? Located right next to the Robert B. Moore Theater, this whole walkway is music. So we have a recording studio. We also have different piano labs and other areas where if you're interested in writing music, composing music, or just doing anything with music, this is the area of the Orange Coast College where you come take your classes. One of our older buildings is our fine arts building. So within our fine arts, there are various lecture rooms and these lecture rooms are more like auditorium style rooms. Some of the cool classes that are in this building are the history of video games. Wouldn't you like to take a class and learn all about video games? I know I would. But besides that, this in here is our photography program. So within this area, you can see a lot of the labs, especially the digital photography part of photography. The next building we're gonna see, the Art Center has on the second floor, the regular photography as you would have known. But this here is our fine arts building. And if you want to take classes in here, this is the main interest where you would go. Welcome to our art center. Right behind me, there's three floors of our art center. When you walk in the first floor, you will see a Pilates studio on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you're gonna see printmaking, screen printing, uh, and you'll also find our TV and video on the first floor. With TV and video, did you guys know that we have a virtual and augmented reality as part of our programs? Continuing on the first floor, you also see our sculpture classes and our ceramics classes. But what about the second floor? If you go to the second floor, the majority is taken over by our photography program. We have an awesome photography program. We even have a dark room. Not too many places have dark rooms for photography. Uh, there's also an equipment room for not only film and television on the first floor, but also for photography on the second floor. But on the second floor, you'll also find illustration, uh, all the design classes as well. On the third floor of the building, you'll find the illustration classes. You will find life drawing classes and painting classes. If you wanna do art at Orange Coast College, this is one of the centers you're probably gonna go to. So please come and check out our art center. At OCC, we even have our own arts pavilion. Here is our Frank Doyle Arts Pavilion. Not only do we have different artists showcase their art in here, but also our students and sometimes our faculty are even able to show their pieces in our arts pavilion. And right next to our arts pavilion, if you're thirsty, you can get some Starbucks coffee. So come to Orange Coast College where not only can you have your Starbucks, but anything in the arts as well. Another program we have at Orange Coast College is our early education program. And with early education, as you can see behind me, we do have our children's center. Uh, so if you're a student, if staff, if faculty have a child and they'd like to have them in the children's center, they can do that. But what if you want to study early childhood? Well, we also have another part of this area where you can interact with the toddlers so that you can learn everything about early childhood. So we have left the arts part of the campus and we're gonna be heading to the science part of the campus or the science building. But before we do, let's talk about the library that you see behind me. It's a pretty big structure and it does take a good amount of the campus, but our students are able to go in and go to the first floor or second floor to study. There's study rooms, there's cubicles. The good thing about our library too is not only is it open late, but it's also open on the weekends. One of the buildings I love going into is our planetarium. Did you know our planetarium costs $25 million to, to make? Well, if you go inside, you see what we've done with those $25 million. There's a full called pendulum, but there's this 125 seat theater that is also available for our students. Now, it's a community planetarium, so it is open to our community and our students. If you're a student, you get to take in a show for free. If you're part of the community, it costs $5 to see one of the shows. There are also shows not only at, in the, at night, but also on the weekends. Are you interested in science, technology, engineering, and math? 
then this is the building you want to come to. We just call it the Lewis Center. Do you know we have aquariums for our marine sciences program? That is another popular program at Orange Coast College. Our students actually get hands-on and they get to work with a lot of the specimens if you take the aquarium classes. But if you take the marine classes, not only are you going inside a classroom to learn, but also the ocean and Catalina Island and Baja California is also part of the instruction. So if you're interested in science, technology, engineering, math, geology, physics, and astronomy, this is the building that you'd probably be coming to. The buildings behind me are known as the ABC buildings, but they're not in that order. First, it's biology, then it's allied health, and then consumer and health sciences. So let's start with biology. So if you're wanting to take sonography or any biology, microbiology courses, in all likelihood, you're becoming to this part of this building. The middle part of the building is our um, allied health area. So within our allied health, we have x-ray technician, registered dental assisting, medical assisting, emergency medical services, and many other programs. So if you're interested in that, you'd be going to the middle building. The last building is the Consumer and Health Sciences uh, building. That on the second floor, you'll find our interior design and our fashion design programs. On the bottom floor, you'll find the division office, but besides the division office, you'll also find our early childhood classroom. We have made it to one of our newer buildings on, on campus called the Math Business and Computing Center. And yes, I know that's a mouthful, so we call it the MBCC building. There are three floors to the MBCC building. If you walk in on the first floor, you'll find a computer lab, and you'll find a lot of computer classes for a lot of different subjects that are taught there. The second floor are a lot of classrooms as well, mathematics, business, those are some of the classes within this building. And on the third floor, it's the same thing. So if you're looking to take classes in math, business, or computing, you'd be coming to this building. But right next to this building, they are building a bridge across connecting this building to our future language arts and social behavioral sciences building. So we probably expect this to be done within a year or so, but the same thing. In this building are a lot of different classrooms. And one of the ones that I look forward to seeing is a journalism room. It's called the newsroom. And what you're gonna be able to see is inside all these different TVs of all showing all the different networks and all the news going out throughout the world. So can't wait for you to be part of our new language arts and social behavioral sciences classes. One of the larger lecture halls on campus is what you see behind me. It's called Science Hall. It seats about 300 students and there's various subjects that can be taught within our science building. But next to our science building, if we go over to my left, you will see the chemistry building. And within the chemistry building, there are chemistry classes, chemistry lectures, and labs. But we are looking into building a brand new chemistry building. We also continue right next to our chemistry building and we have our literature language building. So as you can see, some of these buildings look a little bit older and the campus is looking to see and, how, and redoing some of these buildings. I know we've been told that we're gonna get a new chemistry building, but our literature and language building, that houses some ESL classes for students who wanna learn English. But there's also foreign language classes like Japanese and other languages taught within this particular building. Did you know we have over 285 different degrees and certificates we offer at Orange Coast College? One of those programs is our horticulture program. Now, not too, many, not too many community colleges have horticulture, but within our horticulture area, not only are there a couple of classrooms, you can see greenhouses there as well. So our students get, once again, hands-on experience on how to grow plants, where they grow, and also, I know they're doing a lot with sustainability. So, please come to Orange Coast College and come to our horticulture area. Orange Coast College sits on 164 acres in Costa Mesa. And this is one of the furthest parts of the campus itself. Behind me is what we call the industrial technology area. 
So yes, you see an airplane or a fuselage of an airplane behind me. If we were to go inside, you also see small Cessnas, some helicopters, because one of the programs we have here is aviation maintenance program. With that, right next to that is the welding program as well. But if you were to come into our technology center itself, we have a makerspace. It's a free area where our students can do a lot of 3D graphics or 3D printing. Uh, they can build their own surfboard. Architecture is another popular program at Orange Coast College, and that is also within this area. Did you know we have a guitar making class? Where do you think that is? That's right inside. So woodworking, carpentry, and behind this building, there is even more. That's where our construction technology program is located. So if you wanna do masonry, concrete work, or if you just wanna build tiny homes, this is where you'd be coming to our technology center. We are still here our, our, in our technology center. If you walk in through those doors, you will find the HVACR program. Heating, air conditioning, ventilation, refrigeration, those are some of the classes that are also taught in here. But within this building as well is our manufacturing technology program. So a lot of these companies, they are looking for students to work in that industry and they send a lot of information to our faculty to hire our students. So if you're interested, please talk to your faculty member in whichever area you are, in this case in technology, and you might be working in that area sooner than you thought. Now at OCC, not only do we fix airplanes and helicopters, but our students can also fly airplanes. So we do have an aviation science program. If you wanna become a pilot, this is where you would come and take some of your classes. We even have a connection or a partnership with a university. So a student can earn their bachelor's degree in aviation science. Inside the classrooms here, you will find three flight simulators that our students can use. But then you might ask, well, where do you fly the airplanes out of? Well, we have a partnership as well at John Wayne Airport where our students would be able to go with the instructors and fly the airplanes there to get their license. So, do you want to fly airplanes? This is the place to come. Did you know there are nine community colleges in Orange County? Out of the nine community colleges, Orange Coast College is the only community college where our students can live on campus. So at our campus with 20,000 students, it really feels like you're attending a university. And something to add to that university feel is housing. We're the only community college that has housing on our campus. Ours is called the Harbor. And there are studios, one bedrooms, uh, two bedrooms, and four bedroom apartments. So if you're interested in housing, you would just walk into the housing uh, office and talk to them about how you can live at Orange Coast College. At OCC, we offer a lot of different competitive sports. As you can see behind me, there is this, you will see the football field, and behind that is a track and field. We also have the gymnasium where indoor basketball happens, as well as volleyball. We have tennis courts, we have soccer, we have a great baseball team and softball team. We do offer a lot of sports for our students. So if you're an athlete and you wanna play sports for Orange Coast College and try to win us a state championship, what you have to do is fill out the prospective student or athlete form located at the website for our athletics department. If you fill that out, the coach will get in touch with you and tell you how you can become part of the OCC Athletics Pirates team. We are now standing inside our new aquatics pavilion. As you can see behind me, these are brand new pools for our swimming, water polo teams, and adaptive kinesiology. If our students are ever hungry, they have an opportunity to come to our Pirates Cove. So our students can come in when the Pirates Cove is open, that door is open right there. You can walk in, put your name and your student number and pick up any of the snacks that are there. But there's also a mini grocery store inside and once a week you're able to get a bag and fill it with groceries and you can use it for whatever means you need. We have students all over the world studying at Orange Coast College. If you're an international student with an F1 visa, then you'd want to visit our Global Engagement Center. But our Global Engagement Center also houses our Study Abroad program. So in the summer, our students are able to go to various parts of the world to study. So if you're interested in study abroad or if you're an F1 international student, please come visit our Global Engagement Center. 
I mentioned to you earlier that Watson Hall has a lot of our student services, but one of those services located in the middle part of the campus is called our Disabled Students Programs and Services. You might hear it as DSPS. So if students have a learning or a physical disability, if you ever had an IEP or a 504 plan from high school, then you might want to look into our DSPS program. One of the reasons students go into this program is not only the services offered with your own special counselor that helps you throughout your whole academic journey, but you also have an opportunity to register ahead of everyone else. Remember, we have over 20,000 students who attend Orange Coast College, and being able to register early is an advantage. So you just have to talk to the center and see if you qualify for the services, and if you do, they'll tell you how you can be part of our DSPS program. Tutoring is another program that is free at Orange Coast College, and this is a building you'd come to. So if you need help with any subject, please come visit this, the Success Center or the Tutoring Center, and the staff will be able to tell you how they can help you. Another building that is not well known, but you should definitely take advantage of, is our Student Health Center. When you register for college credit courses, you pay a health fee. And with that health fee, it allows you to use a lot of the different services that are available. So hopefully you've enjoyed the tour today. We see a lot of different buildings, a lot of different areas, and you see how extensive or how big Orange Coast College is. But even though we're a big campus, we still want to give you the one-on-one -on -one and every friendly staff and faculty you meet will help you reach your academic goal. So please reach out to me once again. My name is Ed Cervantes. I'm the Outreach Specialist. And if you need any help with becoming a pirate, I am here to help you.